Here we have an example of a beam which is being held by two rods, AB and CD, and then uh, subjected to a 6 kN force uh, at a certain distance, D. Uh, here we're going to set D equal to 1, 1 meter. And our objective is to find the average normal stress developed in bar AB and bar CD. So we want to find average normal stress which is denoted by sigma in bar AB and bar CD. Now we have to also be given the cross-sectional area or the diameter, the size of these rods, say if they are circular here actually we are given the uh, cross-sectional area. So rod CD has an, a cross-sectional area of uh, 16 millimeters squared. So these are all given. And uh, rod AB has a cross-sectional area of let's say 20 millimeters squared. And as I said our objective is to find the average normal stress in uh, rod AB and rod CD. So we know that the definition of average uh, normal stress sigma is force, axial force developed in a member divided by cross-sectional area. We do have the cross-sectional area of each member. We just need to determine what uh, is the force developed in AB and CD due to this 6 kN. So we have to do a uh, free body diagram. So part of this problem is doing the statics and figuring out the internal forces. So let me do a free body diagram right on this picture for you. So we know that we have a force in rod AB and a force in rod CD. And if you find these forces, we can just divide by their corresponding cross-sectional area and we have the answer. So you guys remember from in statics, we have here we have two unknowns and basically we have two equations because one equation is sum of the moment. Let's say we take moment about A or C doesn't matter, we take counterclockwise to be positive. So we have the moment of FCD about A would be FCD times 3, remember D is equal to 1, so this is now 1 meter, and then this is 2 meters then, right? So that moment is positive, then we have uh, the moment of the 6 kN about uh, A, which would be 6 times 1, so here we go, FCD actually becomes 2 kN, and since some of the forces in Y must be equal to 0, if FCD is 2 kN and we have 6 going down, so then FAB must be 4 kN. So we got the force in each member. Now all we have to do is to divide by the area. And by the area, I'm talking about these areas. So remember now, the unit is very important. We have to be careful with that. Let me go to the next page. So keep in mind that FCD was 2 kN and FAB came out to be 4 kN, so this 2,000 and 4,000, and the corresponding area, remember F, uh, the uh, area, cross-sectional area of CD was 16 millimeters squared, and cross-sectional area of AB was given to be 20 millimeters squared. So here we go. The average normal stress average normal stress, this is for member say CD, is equal to the force in member CD divided by the area. So be careful, that's 2,000, 2 kilonewton or 2,000 newtons. Now, we have to do a conversion from millimeter squared to meter squared. That conversion is 10 to the negative 6. So 16 times 10 to the negative 6 and then this becomes meter squared. Newton per meter squared is Pascal, which is the unit of pressure or stress. 2,000 divided by 16 becomes 125. The 10 to the negative 6 goes up, 
comes 10 to the positive 6 or megapascal and now do the same thing for member AB so sigma average in member AB would be similarly FAB divided by cross-sectional area of AB so this time we have a 4 kilonewtons force in that member that's 4000 newtons divided by 20 again millimeter squared converted to meter squared the factor is 10 to the negative 6 so this time we get 4000 divided by 20 that is 200 and remember the unit should be mega pascal 